KZAM is back. You know, I, I often think that if I had a little plot of land, Corey, uh, and there were pine trees around, I could take one of these little tiny homes and just drag it up there, right, with like a, a dually. And what else do you need? Yeah. What, where do you see what they've got? The, the off-the-grid options here are really impressive. And uh, we're going to meet up with Mike Partena here. He's with Uncharted Tiny Homes. Mike... Thank you for getting up early, first of all. Of course. And are you a regular here, by the way, at the Home and Garden Show? Yeah, I think we've been doing it five, six years now. Yeah. yeah well, you're fine. making a, a big splash, not just here, but all around Arizona. And you got three options for us today. Uh, first of all, describe what Tom is showing us now. Yeah, so this What's is our this? limited model, one of the smallest ones we build. It's 18 feet. Uh, it's a full house, full-size queen bed, full bathroom, kitchen, living room, the works. Wow. It's... And it really... It really is just about all you need. If you're two people, I mean, you're not going to be taking the whole Brady Bunch to uh, the Grand Canyon. We do families of five and everything, too. But, yeah, it's to each their own. Yeah. Well, the, the loft up top is massive. Uh, what, what, yep. what does that approximate? So about it's eight queen? by eight across. Uh, oh, wow. So, yeah, it's a queen with nightstands. You could fit a king bed in there uh -huh. if you want to kind of squish it in. But, gotcha. yeah, you can fit any size normal furniture in these things. All right. Now let's talk about this big guy. Yes. I mean, it's, a ti it's tiny, but it's still movable. Correct. still mobile. Yep. So this is our Mansion Elite. So it has a walk-in closet. This is the kitchen. Wow. Full-size couch, two massive lofts. Mm -hmm. um, the bathroom is a full-size bathroom, full-size shower, walk-in closet, toilet, everything, the works. So this is a little bit better for kids, families, whatever you want. We're 100% wow. custom, so we kind of tailor it to what you want. I see. And, and what is that process like? Uh, a customer comes to see you. You're trying to kind of assess their needs, uh, Absolutely. right? What they want to do with the home. Yeah, so it's basically a design meeting just like building a custom home. So they come in, they pick all their finishes, layouts, what they need, what they don't need, mm -hmm. and we tailor it and build it exactly for what they want. Gotcha. Well, this is your latest and greatest. So Correct. tell me about this. I know you're pretty proud of what's happening Yeah, so here. this is our adventure series. It's our uh, take on the RV. We want to do quality and off-the-grid capability. This has 150 gallons of fresh water, full solar, four bunk beds, full bedroom. So it's comfy, comfy camping. So wow, yeah. uh, with quality, there's an R25 spray foam in the wall. So it's very insulated, residential windows. So I'm trying to give you the works on it, but you can go anywhere with it. Love that. And... Uh, Boy, these days I'm seeing more and more uh, Arizonans with great-looking trucks, yep. with all their stuff on the back, their bikes, their motorcycles, their quad runners. Yep. And after a big day out in the wild, I can't imagine anything nicer than coming back to a place that's really comfortable. Absolutely. And we want to make this comfortable, but quality and durable, so you can just uh, tramp through the woods. But also, you don't have to do anything to set it up. You open the door, you use it. And that's yeah. what we want to do. Well, you're right about the, the off-the-grid part. You really can go wherever your truck can go. Exactly. You can follow. Exactly. Uh, with this. All right. Yep. Well, uh, how, how, uh, what time, by the way, do you throw the doors open for folks today? So it's 10 to 5, uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Very so. good. Well, Mike Partain, thank you so much for uh, the tour. Uh, I know you're going to be busy this weekend, and the whole of Westworld is going to be jammed. It's the 28th annual Maricopa County Home and Garden Show, and they have been improving Valley homes for uh, almost 30 years. Mm. And Troy, I could see you. Uh, I could see you in this world. How much for that little now, number right behind you? With how much for that little number right oh, behind you? Yeah, can we get some prices? Yeah, so starting Trick, just as this one's as this one now. is forty-seven thousand, mm -hmm. starting at thirty-four. Point? Okay, so. I don't know if you caught that, uh, Troy. But I did, yeah, and you can you can finance these like houses, can't you? I mean, you can get like a fifteen or thirty-year. You don't have to pay it off in like five years, like a car, right? Wow, is that right? Can you get a mortgage on something like this? We're working on it. We don't know yet. We have financing for our tiny homes now, but uh -huh. right now we're going to talk to them because we literally finished this yesterday. Uh huh. So we want to get our take on it, but we're going to ta start talking to banks and everything and trying to get uh, financing available for it. Yeah. Well, it sounds to me like Troy's back there planning some kind of a. <laughs> How much down does he need? Yep. What does my so, credit uh, score need to be? Yeah, I need to. Uh, I have the paperwork we'll half deal. filled out. <laughs> Uh, was that a real question, Troy? No, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, no, it okay. was a real question. I, I know that some of those big RVs that oh. you can finance them like houses. So, you know, your, your payment's like 150 bucks a month on a, some huge RV. So, yeah. 
There you go. I like that. Right. Well, and again, Mike said they're working on their financing situation, but uh, yeah, to finance uh, forty-five or fifty thousand uh, dollars, I'm sure. I don't know how long you can stretch that out, but well, that's like a loaded Acura these days. So, uh, right. I don't know. We'll try to get you more details. Yeah. All right, buddy. Thank you. AZAM is back. So Corey is out this morning, and he is checking out a tiny big home. It looks like, and yeah. I might want to lock myself up in that thing, Cor, and just let the kids roam. Yeah. Let the dogs go. <laughs> That's right. You know, free-range children are really the wave of the future, Celeste. I think they'll be fine. Just let them do whatever. In fact, you could probably just cut maybe like a big dog door underneath and keep them down there. Why should you suffer? You Great should idea. have the luxury. And there is plenty of luxury to be had here. This is Cavco. Uh, they're built right here in Goodyear. And boy, they're making a splash all over the nation. Uh, again, we call them tiny homes, but they seem to be maxing themselves out. This is probably one of the bigger ones you're going to see. And uh, this one comes with Alida and Jesse <laughs> and uh, Raul. And uh, thanks so much for the tour. Uh, we'll let Tom step on in here. Everyone's been va vaccinated here, by the way, so we're maskless now. And boy, this, this place makes a splash for sure. Uh, it's as luxurious as any model home I think you're gonna see in any development, isn't it? That's correct, Corey. These are uh, made for resort living, matter of fact, and uh, they, are, they make great tiny homes. Yeah, well, give me an idea of sort of the evolution of the tiny home. I think 10 years ago, no one even heard the phrase. We didn't even know what people were talking about. Uh, but then it seemed like, uh, oh, well, my mom's got a big backyard. I'm going to build this uh, little tree fort back there. But now you've really launched into all kinds of areas. Well, well give me all the applications that you guys are seeing. So primarily, they started off as uh, uh, resort living for retirees, our snowbird uh, friends that come in every winter. Mm -hmm. uh, that evolved into also the resort living uh, and uh, camping uh, industry, the outdoor hospitality is what we call it. So there's great usage of that. And now we're seeing a lot of interest on younger crowds uh, purchasing as a uh, small first home. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, uh, primarily where we're going with this thing. Yeah, and, and I imagine, I mean, boy, if I were on Airbnb or VRBO or something like that and saw this kind of option available, this is, a, this is all any couple needs to be out and about for a weekend. Are you seeing that kind of application as well? We are. We are. Uh, there's uh, individuals that are buying these as rentals for mm -hmm. uh, Airbnb, Airbnb, that is, and uh, definitely getting a lot of good usage out of that. Yeah, well, I love your artwork here, and uh, you were showing me earlier, it's not just a It's piece not of just art. artwork, Corey. With <laughs> an iPad, we can uh, certainly control the whole oh house. my gosh! That's <laughs> actually a TV. Well, that was that's great. And you know, uh, what, one thing that really has impressed me, uh, you know, say the difference between a drivable RV and you can spend a ton on one of those uh, versus what we're seeing here is the width for one. Correct. Uh, I've been in many of those RVs and they're much narrower than what we're seeing. What's our width here? We're about 12 foot wide on the uh, unit itself, plus uh -huh. of course the porch. Um, and definitely, these are what the uh, units that give you the best elbow room. To live in, in, yeah. uh, in a tiny house. Well, everyone, of course, wants to know prices. And of course, all model homes are tricked out to, you know, have the best of uh, all the, you know, appliances and the uh, features and countertops and so forth. G give me your range, base to. So these start on out. anywhere between sixty-five thousand to one hundred and twenty thousand. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of options that you can include uh, to even go beyond that. It just depends on what the uh, end user wants to do. Yeah, absolutely. And um, you were saying that. Even here locally and in California and so forth, you can buy this and end up parking it in a, a community with many other similar Absolutely. houses. Right? There are communities with literally thousands of these in them. There are resorts, so they offer luxury living uh, if you're looking for that type of lifestyle. Yeah, well, uh, and I think... Uh, I think many folks at first were thinking, oh yeah, young couples, That's those are the people who are most interested. But I think the retiree crowd, the Retirees crowd, are our largest base so how far. How about that? Yep. Yeah. All yeah. right. Well, thanks and congratulations. Corey, thank you so uh, much for coming We love what by. you're doing for Goodyear out there. Uh, Cavco is the company, and it's all happening here at the 28th Annual Maricopa County Home and Garden Show. It's always a blast. There's always something new. And, you know, oh, every yeah. couple of years, uh, people always. are redoing this room or that room or the kitchen or the bathroom or whatever. And uh, there's always a great idea to be had out here. So we'll see you at Westworld all weekend always. long. Always. Celeste?
And if it comes with that panda sitting at the desk, <laughs> then you know what? Celeste wants it's to know if we're throwing that panda. Everything comes with it. Yeah, it's all, everything conveys, Celeste. You're fine. Awesome. I'm sold. Sold on it. Core, thank you.